guys, this is Abby Normal and welcome back to A Light. Now, I actually forgot what I was going to do. I, it's been, I think, a week since I played this last. I think, am I supposed to wake you up? Sleeping. Leave her asleep. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go. I think I'm supposed to gather information. No. Actually, you know what I haven't found in a while? I haven't found any cookies or sweets. I maybe should have done that, but hey. Didn't want you guys to miss out on all the fun, hey, of searching with this handsome Hal fellow. His name's Lion Pants. I keep changing his name. Hey, he, if he's allowed to change his name, I'm allowed to change his name as well. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All my playthroughs are just going to be me belching because I'm drinking a fizzy drink. But it's Pepsi Max, so... If it helps, I'm suffering. I hate Pepsi Max. I would drink water, but I have my own cold. No, oh, hey girl, how are you doing? Having missing memory, <laughs> I forgot how to do his voice. Having missing memories kind of gives me this sort of uh, scrummy feeling. I mean, it's nice not to have the memory of being strangled by a girl. How do you know it was a girl? But there's uh, lots of other memories I'd rather forget. Can those just go poof too? How do you know you were strangled by a girl? I can't remember us mentioning anything about being strangled by a girl in the last one. So you were strangled by a girl? That narrows it down to three people. Well, two people, because Effie's the only other girl. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello? Uh, hello. I forgot. Did I just go sideways? I did. Okay, didn't know I could go diagonal. That's amazing. It seems as though things are getting serious. I'd like to ask you if you know anything about this matter. Did someone ask you to do so? Or did you just want to come and see me and my amazing moves? Yes. She said it could be awful for Mr. Lucas if this continues. The resort is closed for today, so she asked me to assist. Ah, uh, I see. I'm terribly sorry I got all wrapped up in all this just after a while. But I need to attend to other things at the moment, like these cards were laid out on the table, so you know. Piss off. Could you come back a little bit later? Yes, ma'am. Sorry to disturb your work. God, her breasts have her breasts have amazing power to make Hal go. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? There's the she boy. She boy, are you in here? Yeah, you both in here. I'm gonna talk to. Oh, he's asleep. Damn it. What is it? We're closed for today, so you can head out into town to shop if you like. No, I'm, I'm fine actually. I was wondering if you knew anything about Mr. Lucas. About Lucas? Hmm. I'm sure you've already become fairly aware of his womanizing habits. <clears throat> Just like me. He's always been this way. I've been stabbed and whatnot for it unspeakably many times. Crucifixion is too good for. <clears throat> it's almost comical how he's beyond fixing. And there's a woman he's dating right now as well. Is it you? Is it you? Someone he's dating. What would that woman be? Our own employee. Look, oh, I know you see. The snake woman in the red dress, you know. Yes. The big breasted girl. Of course. <laughs> There'd be no other way around it other than. Oh, which one's she? She's the one with the green hair. Oh, that's the most standout feature about her. You know, other than her ginormous boobies. Um. Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia are getting on well. Well, Olivia is a jealous sort. She's displeased to see him with other women. Oh, snap! So long as she's looking, Lucas must not mingle too much with other girls. Ah, oh, but you ain't a girl, honey. One family. I mean, <clears throat> but as far as I can remember, they haven't gotten in any especially big. I see, thank you so much. Hmm, <clears throat> that was an Adam's shaving smile. I do hope this can all be resolved. You want him for yourself, don't you, honey? I know. I'll do what I can to assist. Well, what I mean is, um, you can have him and I'll have Olivia since she has the most amazing boobies in the world. I apologise for getting involved in this so immediately. Tell me if anything comes up. Yes, ma'am. In a relationship with Olivia? Feels like 
because that comes down to see the cross. But there are some things I don't know. I'll ask her. Yep. Hey, Olivia. Bitch. I don't care if you've got more important things. You in this one, yeah. I don't care if you've got more important things to do. Talk to me right now. You. Yes. I thought I told you to piss off. Excuse me, but I wanted to talk to you for a bit. Again. Not that I done it like three seconds ago. Oh, no, it's fine if I can assist you in. Oh my god, you literally just told me to pee off. You literally said, I'm a bit busy right now, go away. And now that I've come back three minutes later, you're like, yeah, no, sure, this is fine. Yeah. I was told that you and Mr. Lucas are dating. Is this true? My, so you've had. Oh, yes, it's true. I've been dating him for a few years now. Lucas is quite the womanizer, isn't he? Yes, yes he is. But I can't put too much blame on him. Because that is just part of who he is. Were you doing anything last night? Having wild monkey sex in bed? Oh, no. As soon as work was done, I went straight to my bed. At least I think so. It has me worried how everyone is saying they're missing memories. It's been happening often. Yes, especially recently. It's the sheep boy. Even a few guests have said they've lost memories. When did this start? These things became quite frequent around the time that boy showed up. But you see, there's some customers who started coming explicitly to forget their troubles. Anything else you want to ask? Maybe ogle up my breasts more because I know you're looking. No, no. I'm fine for now. You can come back to ask me anytime. Yep. Thank you! Oh, that's an invitation for such a promise. Do it. Oh god, no fun. Oh. This, this is as close as I can get. There's like, there's still a good foot between us, so. Uh, uh, no, can't do it. I'll touch your boobies one day. Hopefully. This is starting to get kind of complicated. It would be really bad to have my own memories taken while I'm investigating. What memory could they take? Hmm. Damn it. I can just feel it. This is going to be a pain. Mm. <sighs> it's morning. Uh, Papa's gone. I'll go look for him. Get up. Oh yeah, I forgot I can walk out of bed. La 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 pa pa. Oh. That's Mr. Captain. <gasps> Mr. Captain! Yay! Oh, I forgot what voice I gave you now. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while, Miss. Oh, that's not even the voice, is it? So if Captain's here, where's the corpse? No, no, different kind of case today. Different kind? We heard rumour there's a dragon here, so we came to confirm. Yes, it's me, you know me, it's fine. Oh, so you're too busy to talk, I guess. Once I've finished up, I'll gladly talk with you. Hooray! The manager here let us borrow the room next door for a short time. Yay, we can be sleep buddies, we can have sleepovers, you can do my hair. Since you originally took care of me once I accepted Tom Leo, but that only happened in an alternative universe and you didn't know about it, I'm gonna shut up now. Brett's in the room now, so he might entertain you for a bit if you ask him. <gasps> You're not taking Mr. Brett along with you? Well, there's a bit of a problem with that. Is he dead? But there won't be any brutal killers around this time, so he's just on standby. Is he sick? Hmm. Okay. Now, if you'll excuse me. I guess if nobody's dead, then Papa must be okay. <laughs> well, we'll always look on the bright side. Yay, no one's dead. Okay, then time to play. Okay. I'm gonna go in here and see Brad. Mr. Brad, Mr. Brad, you still look like a girl. Hi. Oh, it's you. Been a while. Good 
morning. I want to talk to you. The captain says he's busy, so let's talk, Mr. Brett. Sure, I've already done all I can here. Mm, what have you been doing? Why aren't you and Captain together? Couldn't I say the same about you and Papa? I don't know where Papa is, but he's not dead, so it's okay. The manager of this place has a book, hasn't she? Uh, you should be knowing these things, okay? If we were fighting together, we could cut it apart. Situation. I'm so absolutely terrified of those things. Oh, I need help. Oh, because of your past, nothing thinking. Oh, I'm sorry. That was the worst thing I could possibly say. So. You got bullied with whips? Yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm like that person at parties you talk to. It's like, hey, Abby, meet this person. It's just like, oh, hey, you want to hear a joke? And it's like, oh, it's a joke about. Bold people, so I'm bald, so I can say, yeah, it's bold, about bold fat people, and then I look, it's like, oh, you're bald and fat too. Mm. Well, I don't like an idiot. Papa bullies me by flicking my forehead, so I hate that. It's scary. He does that to you? Awful. I don't think so awful. But someday I'll get stronger than the flicks and beat them for good. Hmm. I bet you can be beat whips too, Mr. Brat. I see. You may be right. I'll have to try harder. But you're already real strong. Those um misty things are like super overpowered. Um, maybe it's hard to tell, but these are basically my names and problems. Oh, oh, that's right. I should tell you. I can put those out freely now. <laughs> oh, can we see? Awesome. Already figured out how to use your power. That was fast. Yeah, but keeping them out wears me out real Doesn't it make you tired? You always got them out, right? I've always had them like this. It allows me to counter any attack I have. I'm going to keep them out because I can fully control my power. If your power is unstable, it's very dangerous to do so. It's, it's dangerous. Yes, it's possible your powers can roll them up. The boy who's accompanying the manager of this place, he might be dangerous. He's totally a dragon, right? But no wings. Maybe a lack of power. Maybe a lack of control over his powers causing over his wings. He's a sheep! Is he a dragon? No, he's a sheep. I'm sure he's just a sheep. Or maybe he's using his powers unconsciously. It's not definite, but I do think he's a dragon. Oh, alright then, you were right. I was wrong. He was asleep when I visited, so I didn't get to ask him. Man, so many mysteries. Down out of hell! Oh, down out of hell! I thought she was like saying a weird Latin phrase. Where'd you learn that kind of language? I think I can guess. Papa says this stuff all the time when he doesn't know something. Hmm. As I thought. <gasps> no, not my Papa! Uh, oh, as I say, no, it's him. Oh, good to see you, Captain. It's the Captain again, we just talked to him. The manager firmly insists that the boy is a human. And he didn't show any sign of waiting. I withdrew for the time being. Is that so? Are you not busy anymore? I suppose I'm working until the boy wakes up. Oh, can we play? I want to know some more. Should I talk to the captain? Yes. Yes. Yes, we should. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> hey. We're not getting anywhere. I want to talk to you. Can we talk like right now? Like right here, right this very second? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Mm, what should I ask? Oh yeah, Mr. Captain, how old are you guys? I'm sure they told us this one. Uh, ages? Yeah. I'm not sure, but I believe I've lived around 100 years. <gasps> Damn! And still, you haven't gone through 
puberty. Let's look for 10 or so, 17 years. And dragons really don't change much as they age. That's right. Some dragons are roughly bread size when they're three. How old's Papa? When I first met him, he seemed about seven or eight. I guess now, I guess he's uh, 20 more or less. I guess you can lose sense of time. If you live up to be like 100, you'd be like, oh, I suppose that person's this age. Because birthdays don't really matter that much anymore. You met him that far back? Yes. <gasps> Flashback! He was part of a group of children about his age. Living in the slums. He was sort of the boss of the group. Day by day, they did thievery. Papa had friends! Uh, that's a bit of a bitch thing to say, but okay. Uh, yes, sometimes they uh, would act as a collective. Other times they would act alone. And some years later, the children vanished when an incident befell the town. <gasps> years after that, I found them all alone. Ooh. Where did his friends go? Yeah, I'm kind of. We did find some of the children in the far off town. One of them has never oh, one of them has never been seen since. They seem to be the weakest of the group, you see. So they may well, may well have died when they separated. Ooh. Wait, why did they separate? That's a mystery in itself. I gotta be stronger. Oh, don't eat Leo. Please don't let this be the whole story be out. I'm gonna eat Leo and be stronger than him. Heck, I'll get stronger than Papa and be the one protecting him. Oh, no, don't say that because that means you might have to eat him. Every no. I like your determination. You have my support. Oh, yeah. Where did Papa go? I saw him in the hall downstairs earlier. Okay, thank you. Kind of a strange thing to say to a child, but okay. I'm fine. Just when she like falls over flat on her face. That's something I would do actually. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna end this one here, so I'll see you guys in the next part of this video. Going on adventure, Effie. Yeah! Yeah! Maybe I should do that too much. My voice will hurt and I'm getting busy. <coughs> see you guys in the next one. Bye!